Good morning and welcome to a Monday. It's a beautiful day to a new week. Hey. We have sunny skies and we have our guest, yes. Luke from Pittsburgh. Welcome back. I'm glad to be back. Good to be back. Good to have you back. We have the, the 2000 Baritz Blue 528i. Yeah, Love this color. Since you guys have seen it in the vlog, we've got an M bumper on there. Looks phenomenal. Hi, Colt. Hi. How's it going, buddy? Okay. Don't put the. You don't, always you put it so don't. close to my face. Well, just, that's just what we do. We go close, close hey. to everybody's face. Yeah. Hello. All right. Razvan's headed out for a little bit. He's going to go home because he hasn't been there for like a week. And that Hyundai is hauling ass. I can see your exhaust on 10 times zoom. Luke's centering up the car in the driveway and we're gonna head down to Dave Walter BMW to try to find that Amola Red 03 M5 that we first saw months and months ago. Cold out there? It is, very it's, cold. It's, we going! It's nippy, yep, we're headed to... <laughs> before the door's even shut. <laughs> well. And off we go. Well guys, look what's here. We're gonna do a quick little walk around update on the 03 Amola M5 here at Dave Walter BMW. It's actually at BMW now, it's not at Volkswagen. So I, I guess they fixed it up enough where they're not ashamed to have it here. But anyways, it is looking better. In the front, they've replaced the badge. It has M5 grills. They've fixed the paint work on the hood was really bad, so that's been done. The front bumper appears to be attached right now. This is still poked out, it's not seated correctly, and it's missing the tow hook cover. Not a big, big deal. Headlights are dirty, need to be restored, not horrible. Aftermarket wheels and tires. Um, panels all look straight. I mean, this car would clean up well if you put some time into it. I don't know if there, there was a big gash on the other side. I'll have to check that in a minute. Uh, trunk lid, aftermarket, badge is too close. It's missing that. The rear bumper is not really connected at all. It's got a big crack in it on this body line here. This piece of trim is screwed up. And I don't know if the trunk opens. The car is locked right now. Over here, no, they didn't. They did. They touched it up, but it hasn't really been fixed. There's That's really the only problem in the paint on the car. Um, the interior, from what I can see, is uh, about the same. That center console trim where the shifter in looks like it's been pried out with a screwdriver. And it's got white grills on the speakers and then the, the fence on the dash and it is not an extended leather car. Seat appears to be in good condition though and from what I remember the carpet carpet and steering wheel are in good shape too. So it's still here. I think they've lowered the price to $17.9 which is starting to get more more reasonable for this car. If it had stock wheels tire setup on it I think that would help a lot. That back bumper needs to be fixed. Uh, I don't know what 270 means. I'd give them 270 bucks. Low mileage, it is 100 and, uh, but I think 105, 102,000. It isn't, it isn't really crazy high. Hey, check it out. We found another uh, M5 on the lot. If mine were here, this would make three, but we took Colt's car. This is a 01 Jet Black. This one's for sale. It's got laser jammers on it. Uh, the wheels need to be refinished. I don't know how all of them are so rough, but uh, it's got extended leather, black, black interior. Oh, it's a 440. This is a nice 01. Doesn't look like it. Nice 01. It's got the uh, the laser jammers there on the on the lower dash. If you can see that switch, jet black. I may go in and ask him for some keys and take a peek inside. It's really swirled. That's a nice looking car. Though. They also have an E46 M3, apparently owned by a female. Just saying. Just saying. Convertible. Those wheels and a six-speed on the inside. I like that. No nav though. Leather looks real nice. Can't really even see much of it. Some good shape. Impala. Yeah, they got those over there. And it's got the gray gauges like I think all of them did. And a 328 Grand Coupe. Yeah, we're going to see if we can look in that empire. Turn mark, and the dumb woman turned it for me. Yeah, but you got the fill out. It's not 
very nice. There we go. And mine's staying out. <laughs> Those are Luke's winter wheels. They're 16s with Blizzax on them. In the summer, he has style fives like what Kenan has, and they'll go back on there once winter's over in eight or 10 months. I've cleaned everything up from today. We watched Insidious. We were gonna watch Insidious 2. Got five minutes into it. Didn't remember anything from Insidious 1. At least I didn't. So we went back and watched that. We had dinner at Zeppi's with Brandon, Alex, Razvan, and Luke. No, Alex didn't go. <laughs> I'm tired. It's 2.44. So I'm gonna go do the usual. Luke is spending the night with Colt tonight. We're gonna be back with him tomorrow. He has to leave tomorrow afternoon though, so that's been fun. I feel like I've driven a lot of cars today. I drove the Impala for the first time, that was interesting. Um, we had all the cars out today, M5, 528, 540, 525. It's been a BMW day. We looked at those two M5s at Dave Walter today. It's, it's a busy day, so I'm looking forward to lay down in bed. It is 20 degrees and snowing. We've got another fresh inch out there. Um, probably can't see a whole lot but it's still coming down, I think. Welcome to winter, it's been fun. None of the roads are treated, they're horrible. But Colt snow tires are doing very well, and Luke's Blizzax, holy crap, I don't think he could drift that thing if he tried to. It just bites really well. So, okay, that's enough for me. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow in, uh, is it Tuesday? I don't even know, I've totally lost track of time. It's tomorrow in the 17th, yeah. All right, good night.